I, I tried so hard to learn to speak Hebrew. <laughs> he was my translator. Yeah. And you know him, of course. Yeah, 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 I do. You tried so hard. I tried so hard. You know, but there's two problems. He's translating you. The first problem is everyone here wants to practice their English. Yeah. The self included. Yeah. <laughs> the second problem is I got, I got to the point where I understood I could speak Hebrew fairly well in the present tense. And then when I realized, I got to the page in the book where I realized I had to learn everything again in the past. In past and the future. So I can, I can speak. I can, I can ask you what you were doing yesterday, but I have to say, what are you doing now, yesterday? Give me an example. <laughs> so I say, ma, ata, or say, et mo. It's mo. It makes a difference, though. But you understand. Because Israelis are like that. But you understand. But there's, I no, like, there's, no, there's no time limit. They could okay. be doing something. <laughs> they could be doing something now that's actually yesterday. So, so how about that? I don't sound too retarded, then. I sound yesterday. You fit right in. Okay, good. We're, we are a retarded nation. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. And you speak the correct English. <laughs> and I speak with a silly American accent, you know. His father used to teach us English on television. Yeah, on television. Okay, so he's to blame. His father's to blame. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on? Uh, I, I want to understand a few things. Mm -hmm. You and Aviv on one stage, okay? Mm -hmm. Now in Israel, I understand a lot of most people we are not going to be yelling Stephen because you're much prettier than Aviv. <laughs> but when you, guys, when you guys go to places like Poland and Romania, does the crowd like, I mean, I know the people there are Porcupine Tree fans, a lot of them. Uh, when we started, well, the first time we toured with Blackfield, I think the majority of people were, obviously people are familiar with Porcupine Tree. No, they didn't really know Aviv. That's changing now. But uh, there, there was a very memorable occasion, I think the first time we went to Poland to play. And there was a guy in the audience that was obviously a, a huge Aviv Geffen fan. And what he would do is every time the music got very, very mellow, you know, very beautiful, very intense, touching moment, he would yell, <laughs> And in the end, I got so fed up with this, I stopped the show in the middle of a song. I said, look, what do you want to say to him? What do you want to say to him? It's just the guy I've been hired for the job, come on. <laughs> I said to him, what do you want to say to him? So there was a hush fell in the room, in the, you know, 2,000 people in this room. A hush fell. What did he say? And this guy thought for a moment about what he wanted to say. He's finally got the opportunity to say something to his hero. So what he decided to say was, Avi! <laughs> You know, I try to come here as much as I can because I love it. But uh, right now, um, Porcupine Tree is just about to start doing festivals in Europe, mm -hmm. so I'm just here for a few days. I mean, the last time I met you here, you were out partying and meeting Israeli women. Yeah. And I know you have the hats for dark Israeli women. <laughs> right, you know, nothing's changed. Yeah. Right. Nothing's you changed. You've had your share, fair share of English women, of those white English women. Are you looking for the... Uh... You know, I'm not the only one, though, because my, the, the guy that's here making the documentary with me is a Danish guy, Lasse, who's a very, very talented filmmaker. Uh -huh. And he's also the same. He, he comes here, he, fall, he walks down the street, he falls in love ten times between leaving his apartment. <laughs> and it's any Yemenite woman coming by is... Well, I, I think in his case, any woman. But, you know, <laughs> But for me specifically, it's the no. I think both of us were very enamoured with the sort of dark, exotic, yeah, and exotic beauty. We don't have them in England, you know. We just don't have those. And stories. they love you too. Yeah, they love the blue eyed blonde hair. You got soft, soft and spunky. How would you know? Come on, I'm one of those chicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sing for us after the commercial break. I'm going to do actually an older Porcupine Tree song called Trains, which is like a real popular song in Europe. I've never played it here before. Okay. So I'm Yes. 
prison's bed The hiss of the train and the railway head Oh, is the summers that I slept Love.